Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to show you how I made this really simple sign for my workshop. So I built this workshop about two years ago now and I thought I don't actually have a sign for it yet and there's a part on the door that looks a bit rough where a door knocker was screwed in and just looks a bit of a mess so I thought I'd make a sign to cover up this part of the door. So I started off by measuring up roughly the length that I want and then the width so that it fits in between this decoration on the door and I picked out a piece of rough pallet wood for this I don't have much good wood at the moment so I thought I'd make use of this rough wood luckily this one actually fit widthways perfectly so I marked up the length that I wanted and that was about 45 centimeters So then using my bench hook and a pull saw, I cut out this length. For the top I wanted a curve and luckily the roll of tape was almost exactly the same um, curve pattern. So I used that as a template to draw it around. and then cut this shape out with a jigsaw. I then took my palm router and just rounded over the edges of the sign with a round over bit then I used a combination square to mark a center line and this will help me to add the lettering centrally I then just divided up the space I wanted to put the word workshop and that required eight sections and I marked out these sections I decided to use a simple stencil to write the lettering on and I used a boy rope so that it was nice and visible. I'm not too bothered about accuracy here. I want it to look handmade and a bit rustic. So to router out the letters I used a straight bit in my router and I set it by eye to about four millimeters or so. Wanted the letters to be quite deep but not too deep going through the bottom of the wood. So here I just took my time and free handed these letters. This would be a lot easier with a piece of hardwood but I didn't have any so the pallet wood will do just fine so I just went round the edges of the letters with some sandpaper and then I went over the whole thing with the detail sander and then I filled a few of the nail holes
Once the filler was dry, I decided to go with um, a neon green to match the branding of the YouTube channel for the lettering. Once I put one coat of green on, I decided to add a PVA sealer to the whole thing just to strengthen up the wood and um, give it a better base for the paint to go on. Then I added a couple more coats of neon green and this is all acrylic paint, water based. Then it was time to add the black. And I just carefully went round the edges. And I gave it two coats of black paint. Now I wanted to seal the wood, so I used some yacht varnish. And that will give it a nice shine and make it water resistant. To apply it, I just used um, a fan brush. Now I needed to add some fixings, so I'm marking up for a hole in the top and the bottom for two screws to go through. And to attach it, I'm just using a couple of wood screws and washers. I just piloted some holes in the door. And added the screws. So that's about it for this video. If you liked the video, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.